previously on Hell's Kitchen. In part one of a very unique challenge, the chefs had to rely on their memories to earn ingredients. I got red rolls. Red rolls. Yes. Then in part two, working in pairs, they had to come up with something tasty for Chef Ramsay. I've never made polenta before. And despite working with an unfamiliar ingredient, absolutely delicious. Rochelle's polenta impressed. Okay, I guess I can make polenta now. But unfortunately for Scott and Ralph, their dish was a little too outside the box. You don't cover swordfish in hollandaise. The men lost their third consecutive challenge. <laughs> the women were treated to a day in Laguna Beach. There are no sea lions in New Jersey. Uh, uh, uh. Then, early the next morning. There's something very special going on in the dining room. Chef Ramsay surprised everyone. I now pronounce you husband and wife. As the chefs were challenged with a special wedding brunch service. We are not gonna screw up. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. You guys, we're gonna need help with some of this fruit. Rochelle for the women. We start walking with fruit salad. And Scott for the men. Perfect, these two. Got both kitchens off to a harmonious start. That's the noise I wanna hear, that noise there. But when the red team was relying on Beth to deliver on eggs. It's like snot on your wedding day. It wasn't long before she crashed. Shut up and cook. You shut up and can't cook any faster. I know how to do this. On the blue side, Despite his protests, DeMarco. This one needs a little more time. That's how it's supposed to be. Listen to Ralph and face the consequences. DeMarco, yes, you sure. put that on there. It's wrong. Listen to me. But it was Richard and Gabriel's poor performance. They should both be doing scramble dancing. You're twice as quick then. But right now, you're twice as slow. That buried the blue team. When it came time to choose nominees, DeMarco did his best to defend himself. I am accountable for my actions every fucking time. But it didn't work as he joined fellow nominee Gabriel and Chef Ramsay's nominee. Richard, join them in the fucking middle. In the end, it was DeMarco who missed out on his chance to earn a quarter of a million dollars and win Hell's Kitchen. Now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. No more excuses. Start emerging, because my patience is running out. Head up to the dorms. Now that DeMarco's gone, there's nowhere else to hide. If you fuck up, Chef Ramsay is going to see. Got to move forward. I am so happy that I have a set of tatas right now because the red team, we are golden. And the blue team, they all suck. Dude, oh my god. I'm glad there's only seven of us now. Hey, Dan Ralph. Just living the dream, you know? <laughs> we just watched a teammate and you're laughing about it? Like, they don't really seem to care all that much. I'm seriously fucking raging. Really? <laughs> While Anton fumes over his team's carefree attitude, Joy, Rochelle, and Melanie. Beth's come through in challenges, but it's service I'm worried about. Yeah. yeah. Are focused on their team's weakness. We're not gonna be doing challenges at his restaurant. We're doing we're doing the line. Right now we are carrying Beth. She has no confidence in herself, she has no technical ability, and you constantly have to baby her. Beth you can't keep shutting down. That's what I'm saying. Saying. I've seen it and it's like, hmm. Beth's head, I'm still trying to figure out where it's at because the only time I realize that her head is here is when she's crying out of it. Honestly, not only am I thinking about what's gonna take us farther, but I foresee myself at the end and I need to think about who you need. Yeah, yeah. exactly.
most of us are here for one thing and one thing only. $21,000 a month income. Girl, what are you saying? I'd be happy if I had that every six months. <laughs> I put my little girl in a private school, take my mom off her feet. What would you do with it, Melanie? I owe my life to my mom, so I would take care of her house because she's like about to get her house taken away from her so she doesn't have to f cry every day. <laughs> Bill. Are you all right? I don't even know if they brought eviction notice to my house <laughs> while I'm gone. <laughs> and I understand I can't fuck up right now. I can't fuck up. And that's why I get so emotional. Because if I fuck up, there's nobody that I can call and say, can you please help me? Nobody. I always have a plan B, but this is the first time in my life that I've never had a plan B. What scares me is I live in Louisiana. And when I got out of culinary school, I couldn't get a job even with degrees and certifications that their managers didn't even have. But because they didn't have a penis, you can't get hired on at a fine dining restaurant or unless you want to be the salad girl or the dessert girl. You have to take it because you have to pay your bills. That's terrible. I can only imagine what she's been going through. There's a lot of pressure, but I know she's a fighter. Everything's going to be fine. And us ladies have nothing to worry about right now. <laughs> After an intense night in the dorms. Hey guys, let's go. The chefs are anxious to discover what Chef Ramsey has in store for them. Good morning. I've got something very important to tell you all. But Chef Ramsey has had an overnight epiphany. Let's be honest, both kitchens are lacking in leadership. None of you are starting to emerge as leaders, so I'd like each team to go upstairs and decide which chef you are appointing team captain for the night. I agree with Chef Ramsey. We need to have someone in charge, and I think they need to make me their leader. So, have a really good meeting. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Off you go. I came here to become that leader that Chef Ramsey needs. I need to prove that I could do this. This is an opportunity to show some leadership. I want to make sure that Chef Ramsey notices me. There ain't nothing holding me back. OK, who's the captain? Jason, Anton, one of you guys. That's how I look at it. I'll take it. We need a strong player. You know what I'm saying? Anton's just too much of a dick to have that position handed to him. I say, I say Jason. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? I know he's good at communicating yeah. at this yep. point. Jason is definitely a good chef. You know, he's got a lot of talent. But as of right this moment, I really haven't seen leadership skills. Everybody's cool with that? Honestly, if neither one of you, you are Jason. I want this really bad. I'll, I'll get it on. What are you, fucking crazy? <laughs> Gabriel, I mean, come on. I want to lead. I want to lead. I want to lead. What do you want to lead? You can't cook. What the fuck are you going to lead? You just start yelling, dude. You'll throw off the rest of the team with all that yelling. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know my abilities. I know I can do this. I do this every day already. You kind of lose focus a little bit. I agree. Who wants to nominate somebody? I feel like it should be one of me or you. I'll nominate myself. Are you going to be able to really take control of the kitchen? You got to be involved in every station. Yeah, I'm ready. Bev is not a strong cook, and I can't trust her alone on a station. Like, if I was a leader, I'm confident enough to hop from every station. A couple of us feel comfortable too, though. Yeah, so speak up. I'm just saying for myself, too. Miss, I know how to do everything. Melanie thinks she hero cook of the year. Nothing personal, I'm just, I don't want someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Let's not put you. Looking for another way to improve both teams' dinner service performance, Chef Ramsey has asked each team to appoint a leader. Come on, guys. Honestly, you're like zombies. And it's time for the teams to reveal their captains. Red team, who did you choose as your captain for tonight's service? Me, Chef. Melanie, good. Step forward. Come and stand by the side of me. I am very excited, and I cannot wait for Chef to see my skills. 
OK, great. Uh, I'd like to know your station. And how do you feel in terms of your leadership qualities? I have the confidence and the drive, and I think I'm one of the strongest leaders. And I am very confident with Fish myself, so it should be a great service. Millie, she's always round on this fucking high-ass horse. She get on my fucking nerves. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good. Blue team, you've nominated a captain ahead of tonight's service. Who is it? Anton, Anton chef. Anton, chef. Anton. Yes, chef. Step forward, big boy. Let's go. He's going to try to lead with his mouth and put his foot in his ass. That's what I think. Your team captain, where do you sort of rate yourself? I have the most experience out of everybody on the team. Really? Because I'll tell you what, I have a lot more fucking experience than you do. And I'm going to use myself as a floater. So you're not going to be actually running a station? No, I'm going to be the person who jumps in. I mean, it seems like I can do that pretty well. Excellent. Good. Back in line. Thank you. Thank you. Different. OK. All of you, get on your stations. I want a 30-second chat with Melanie and Anton. Let's go. I'm not going to wait to service until before I see you actually performing as a captain. It starts now. Get them set up and get them to cook off certain dishes. Yep. Yes, Let's chef. go. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Chef Ramsay will definitely get a taste of my leadership Thank skills. Chef. We're obviously stronger than the boys, so it's going to be a good night. Up front, please. Over here. All right, ladies, we're going to have a successful service. There is nothing to worry about. Yeah, I don't think their setup was good. And then One Anton's going to be standing station. here? Dude, yeah, get the fuck in there and cook, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I'm in a part of the kitchen where I can see the red team. I can hear them talking very softly, and they're trashing us. I'm going to float. OK, good luck. That's so stupid. You're not at the point where y'all can do that Exactly. Yet. We may no, maybe they're... can, but not them. They're not. <clears throat> the girls are too cocky, way too cocky. I want to take Melanie down. I really want to bring this little girl down. I want to get her off Everybody her fucking does. As dinner prep gets going, both Melanie. We don't need the parchment. All right. And Anton. I just want everybody to worry about their station for now. Are taking charge of their kitchens. But there is someone else in the blue kitchen. Come on, Gabe. You need a microplane and need a knife. Who is barking out orders. We got a pasta water? Yeah, right there. Need salt. It's a lot on the station that we need over here, buddy. I Let's know that. It. I know that. You know what? Ralph's pissed off because he's small. Small. Very small. Are you guys good on okay. pots? We got plenty of pots, man. Man. Ralph. Hey, relax, relax, relax. Let's just get things done. While Ralph tries to take charge of Gabriel, over in the red kitchen, Beth oh! is not exactly making her team feel confident in her abilities. Shit, shit, shit. OK, that's fine. I'm sorry. Oh, man, OK. Beth cannot focus. And that's the number one thing that you need is focus. Tell me if she needs a little more pepper. She is lost. She needs a little more salt. Salt, OK. Beth kind of is the next person to go home. She don't really know it, but she is. How about we go to service without her? I don't even care. I don't got time for it. Really? Shit. Uh, you know what? I don't care. Oh, my god. Are you fucking kidding me? You don't want to work? Go home. I don't need you here. Joy, shut your fucking fat mouth already. It's not helping. This is bullshit. I really have to step up and stand my ground and not let these bitches run over me. Fucking tell her to shut her fucking mouth. I don't give a fuck who she is. She needs to shut her well, goddamn mouth. If that's your mouth. teammate, then say that to her. She's a fucking bitch. Beth has lost it. The hamster has stopped running in that wheel of a brain of hers. Are you guys actually arguing in the fucking hallway here? Come on, you can hear it from the front. <sighs> Let it go. See, that's right. I'm supposed to let it go, but everybody else is supposed to get upset. OK, well, that's fine. Come on. You're in the hallway screaming. If you don't All right, know, we don't ask, and I'll be quiet. She had a whole meltdown. I had to, like, shut her up. Have some fucking semblance. I'm not going to let some bitch get over on me. It's got to stop. I don't let this happen at home. I don't know why I'm doing it here. Let's go, guys. Line up, please. Let's go, quick. Tonight. I've decided to increase the pressure. Tonight, we will have chef tables. Oh my gosh, like, the pressure hit. You could just read it on everybody's faces, like, OK, this is important. Sitting in the red kitchen will be an actress. She's been nominated for three Emmys on her hit show, Weeds. Oh. Elizabeth Perkins is going to be dining in the red kitchen tonight. Nice. <laughs> I love oh, her. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I'm crazy excited. 
In the Blue Kitchen, you'll have another stunning, well-known actress. She's known for her role in the TV series Charmed. She's currently starring in the heat TV show Pretty Little Liars. Tonight, you'll be serving Holly Marie Combs. I'm stoked. It's about damn time. We have some hot chick in the kitchen. Oh, she's very hot. Smoking. OK, let's go. Yes, yes sir. sir. Jean-Philippe. Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Push. As the doors of Hell's Kitchen open on what promises to be an incredibly competitive dinner service. No, I really want to put a sock in this girl's mouth. Yes. All right. Team captains Anton. Put her in. One, two, two three. Two. And Melanie are both determined to lead their kitchens to victory. One, two, three. Ready? Ready. Okay, bye. <sighs> Ladies, here we go. Melanie leading to victory for table 51. Two risotto, two scallops. Yes, sir. Let's go. Apps, don't forget to communicate about the lobster tail. I'm a good motivator. I know that I can get the team going. It's just all about communication. How many minutes, Joy? I'm just, every time I've been over here by myself, Joy, I let us know. Head. Let us know on your two minutes so I can put my scallops down. Joy? OK, good. Off to a good start. Joy, yeah, how long on that first risotto? Uh, about six. It, I'm going to slow here. Six-ish. I'm a little bit nervous because, I mean, I can only control my own two arms. I can yell as much as I want, but if people don't get it, then it is on my ass. Come on, ladies. As Melanie struggles to assert her authority in the red kitchen, over in the blue kitchen, Anton. Dude, move that pan up. Leave it right in the middle. That's where it's hottest, kid. Seems to be directing his crew with confidence. Keep that right in the middle, Gabriel. Yes, chef. A little salt inside there, Gabe. Yep, yep. Always remember, salt. I'm hoping there's going to be a smooth run tonight. You know, and if my team listens, I can make that happen. More cheese. More cheese, man. We haven't put yeah, cheese in yet. If somebody's not listening, somebody's not cooperating, I'll throw them out of the kitchen myself. Gabriel, drop a little yep. butter in there and put it right in the center. Yes, sir. Put it in the center of the pan. I'm on apps. That's my job. What the fuck are you doing over here? Get the cilantro in. Get that yep, pan yep, in the middle, yep, man. Yep. Ah, right, don't Sorry. move it right there. Santana the Super Chef. I'm sure you got your cape in your closet. I don't know if you fly around at night when we're all sleeping. I have no fucking clue. Risotto, how long? I got your risotto coming right now, Chef. Service, please. You know where you go. 23, yeah? Risotto, capellini came out perfect? Fuck. I wish I could go out there and toot my own fucking horn right now and just jump up and down. Good job, guys. Good job. With Anton happily accepting credit, appetizers are moving quickly out of the blue kitchen. Let's go, please. Service, please. And the blue team is off to a solid start. On order. 30, 30 seconds. On order and away. Four, cover, seven. Anton. Sorry, chef. I'll wait till you shut the fuck up. So you sorry, do your chef. bit. Then I wait. Then I start and you fucking blur all over me. Give me a fucking moment. Sorry, chef. Four covers, table one. Two cappellini, two risotto. Yes, chef. Yes, yes chef. chef. While Anton may be a little too anxious to keep the men's appetizers going, Back in the red kitchen, Melanie. How long on that risotto, ladies? Come on. Is anxious to get the red team's appetizers started. I'm walking with this risotto. Let's go. Follow me with the lobster. Joy. Yes, chef. That's a perfect risotto. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Lobster. Anybody? One minute on the lobster. Stop. Stop. The lobster's still raw. Yes, sir. I haven't put it in yet. Oh, my I God. Have to make it that freaks out and she doesn't know how to communicate with any of us, she locks up in her little shell when she doesn't know what to do. Come on, Melanie. Nothing's coming out. Congratulations. Drive your team, Melanie. Let's go. Yes, chef. Melanie? Melanie. Hello. Speak up. 25 minutes into dinner service, the red team has yet to deliver a single appetizer. Melanie? I haven't heard you all night. And Melanie's leadership. Come on, Melanie. Or lack thereof may become an even bigger problem now that the VIP diners are being seated at the chef's tables. It's a little hot in here. It is hot. <laughs> and it's going to get hotter, trust me. As soon as your appetizers get in, I'm going to make sure that they're perfect. I'm going to deliver perfect. them myself, and I'll check back on you, OK? Thank you very much. Thank you. Is it me, or is he one of the most handsome men on television? while the VIPs settle in, ready for an excellent meal and... Quite the kitchen, isn't it? I know. Very exciting. Maybe a little entertainment. <laughs> in the red kitchen... Hey, 
Sandra, get another pan down. What do you want? Get another pan down for the Cavallini. I can't hear you. It's business as usual for the not so cozy duo of Joy and Sandra. Go ahead and strain some of this. What? Strain some. Right there. Hurry up. Stop screaming in my face. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. She doesn't want to listen to anybody else. She's always in her own world. Does it need salt? Does it need salt? Does it need salt? Little tiny bit. Thank you. Don't scream. I need you to respond. I'm so irritated. You can't work with her. She don't work. You're standing there looking at me like I'm a statue. Stop with a fucking orbit. While Joy and Sandra continue to work on their interpersonal communication skills. Oh my God. Surprisingly. Good, let's go, service. Appetizers are now moving steadily out to the red dining room. This is really good. Meanwhile, in the men's kitchen. Blue team, your chef table. Two covers in a way, one risotto, one scallop. Yes, yes, chef. yes, chef. The chefs are focused on keeping their positive momentum going. We got risotto working, we got scallops going down. Yes, chef, there yes. we go. Right now, scallops, sure, no fucking problem. The VIPs, they're gonna love it. Risotto, scallops, how long? Chef table. How much longer on those scallops? 45 seconds, please. That's good, that's good, 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 good. Risotto, chef. Where's the scallops? Come on, guys. Scallops, chef. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. They're overcooked. Olu, come here. Come here! Yes, sir. Just touch them. Just touch them. They're, they're fucking overcooked. I understand, Rubber chef. Rubber scallop. Sorry, chef. Chris, you're making me look bad because you're not doing your job right. Oh, fucking hell, man. Chris, just make sure that pan is piping. Oh, I am. Trust right. me. You cannot make this a mistake again. I will not. While Chris tries to make good on his promise. You got those scallops down, right? They're that down. Fire? They're down. Thank yeah. you. Back in the red kitchen. The chef's table with scallops with risotto. How long for that? Risotto ready to walk away on the lobster, chef. The women are working hard to make a good impression on their VIPs. It's so exciting. Lobster's ready when you are. Welcome with risotto. Walk in with your lobster. Who give you that? Beth. Hey, hey, all of you, come here. All of you. Come here! Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at it. Rubbery, chewy, overcooked for the chef's table. Come on, ladies, please. Melanie, when the pressure's on, my God, the standard's dead. Beth is a hot mess tonight, but I blame Melanie because as the captain, I mean, you're kind of accountable for the team. Come on, Melanie. You're all stuck in fucking neutral. Let's go. Free fire right now, please. While Melanie struggles to get control of her kitchen. Scallops are ready, right? Anton is determined to not let Chris make the same mistake twice on the scallops. Back's not seared. As soon as that gets hot, drop it on there and get it that sear. Did you see the back, man? OK, take no, this sear. Hit that oil right there. This. I don't want to take a chance I, to come back. I haven't changed the way I've done this cooking, OK? Anton I had fucking hands everywhere. And it's like, shut the fuck up and let me put the scallops on. I know what is going on. Go with these fucking five, please. Scallops walking, chef. In his quest to get the scallop appetizers out to the VIPs. So you regroup them there, and then you just bring them all out at once. There. Anton has skipped the very important step of first getting Chef Ramsay's approval at the pass. Your guys are in for a treat. All right, we're going to go with the scallops yeah. on the sun and the risotto for you. Well, enjoy. I will be back in a couple minutes. Check on you. Delivering them directly to the chef's table. Are those undercooked? They are. Everything well? The scallops may be a little undercooked. I'm watching the fucking table. I can I can see and hear what they're saying. Chef. Yes. Chef's table would like to have it a bit more cooked. Chef was gonna fucking flip a lid throwing plates at me. Did you see them? No. Oh fuck, here we go. I'm getting chewed out right now. Fuck, here we go. Just gonna sit here and look like I'm staring. Hey! All of you! Hey, 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 stop! We're not even halfway through service, you're all asleep. No, oh, Chef, we're good, Chef. No, we're not good. We're not good. OK, Chef, we're not good. We're, we're, we're going. Chris, wake up. They're not even colored on the underside. And your chef's table complained they're undercooked. He's got every right. I don't fucking get it anymore. I don't get it. While the blue team chef's table was expecting dinner and a little bit of a show, Right now, they're getting a lot of show, but very little dinner. Drop another pan and get your backup one on hot. Back in the red kitchen. Yo, I'm five minutes out on a risotto. Heard that? T 
Team Captain Melanie is trying to coordinate Beth's lobster tail with Joy's risotto for the chef's table. Beth, lobster tails, please. Give me a minute. Hey, Beth, get my lobster tail ready now. Huh? Beth! Somebody hop over there. There's not even a fucking lobster tail in there. Beth's dead weight is so fucking heavy that we cannot pull through with her. I got your lobster tail working. Thank you. I am the leader tonight, so if I have to take over a station on my own, I feel comfortable doing so. Come on, come on. Walking with the lobster. Melanie, it's cooked beautifully. Thank you. Go, 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 come on, please, pick up. You need a lobster tail, right? Come on. I did it already. It's already up there? Yes. Beth, hey, you're gone, aren't you? You're just, I'm gone. Service, please. Let's go. With the Red Team's lobster risotto finally getting the approval of Chef Ramsay. Lobster risotto? Mm. Enjoy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. And the VIP diners. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. The women begin steadily sending appetizers out to the dining room. I like it. Double 33, yes? And with Melanie stepping up. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. It appears that the Red Team has finally got their act together. One risotto, one cappellini, one scallops. I'm walking right now. Walking shit. Where's the cappellini? Sandra. Sandra, he's talking to you. I didn't know we had a cappellini. Oh, my. Hey, stop. I know you don't care, but I do. Uh, between trying to carry my station and carry her, it was just too much. Can I have the whole fucking table at the same time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, why is she so stupid? What happened? While Sandra and Joy work through their issues on appetizers. Come on, man. In the blue kitchen. How long did I scalp replacement? 30 seconds. Anton is hoping the third time is the charm for his VIP scallops. She likes it a little extra cooked. I understand. I, okay. I heard things. I need to keep walking around that kitchen, make sure that they understand what they're cooking, how they're cooking it, and either fix it or get rid of it. Perfectly cooked, kid. Perfect. Right behind you, Chef Hot. Scallops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anton, chef table, let's go. Yes, chef. Thank God. I'm fucking happy right now. Yeah, and I apologize for that. That's OK. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Is that better? Yeah, it's way more cooked. We're good. It's an hour and a half into dinner service, and most of the dining room is enjoying their appetizers. Excellent. It's awesome. Both kitchens have moved on to entrees. Away now, first on trace, one halibut, three Wellington. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. And Chef Ramsay has a simple question for Keisha. How long for the table? Two halibut, two Wellington. Wellington's resting now, Chef, and I'm pulling some out now. How long? On that Wellington within 30 seconds for roast, Chef, and I'm slicing mine. Keisha, come here. How fucking long? On the one that we on the pit? No. Sorry, no. Chef. Oh my god, people just do not know how to fucking reply. Like, Chef Ramsay's right into your face, Keisha. Just give me a fucking time. It's going to take her seven minutes. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I'm very frustrated. I am very frustrated. I'm tired looking like a fucking child. I just got to fight hard and come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Let's go. Yes, Chef. While Keisha takes a moment to get over her slip up. On the blue side. All right, I'm gonna slice and check. Chef Ramsay keeps the pressure on. Three Wellington, one halibut, how long? One more minute. After that, your chef's table. Yes, yes chef. On tray one, salmon one, Wellington. Yes, 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 chef. How long? I need one more minute on halibut. The next fucking table, idiots. One more minute on halibut, chef. Look for the next table. I need one more minute. For the next table. The table after that. Salmon, guys. One more minute. Come here, you. Come here, come here. Oh, my God. For the next table. I'm sorry, Chef. You're just shouting at me one minute, one minute. Stop! I don't know what's going through Scott's head. It's one of those guys who's like, you gotta use your kidneys. Meaning, he, he doesn't know shit. That's for these fucking tables. Yes, yes Chef. So, can I fire so we can get going a little bit? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Give me, give me six minutes. Give me six minutes, please. While Scott seems a bit confused. Stay focused, guys. In the red kitchen. Can we walk right now with a Wellington? Melanie cuts through the confusion to get entrees out to the VIPs. Come slice them now. Everybody heard that. Heard. Yes. Thank you. 
Keisha, can we walk without Wellington? I'm walking now. And I'm walking with my pal a bit behind you. All right, ladies, good job. Keisha. Wellington's cooked beautifully. Here we go, finally. Oh my God. All of you, come here. Oh no. This is brought by your captain. Just raw, soggy, pink halibut. Can't even rip it apart. How stupid do you look being the captain of our team bringing us raw fish? She was in way over her head. Melanie, are you done? Have you given up? Answer me! I'm trying, chef. I'm not going to tell you one more time. Cut the shit or go home. Good night. Oh, my God. What is going on? This is not how to run a kitchen, and I'm the leader. Anybody? Another halibut? Yes, yeah, chef. Yes, yeah, chef. chef, please. We have one resting right there. No. How long for the halibut? I'm walking with this halibut right now, chef. This one. Ready? Walking with the halibut right now. Hot behind. Finally. It's gone. Melanie, coming right now, chef. Like, uh, yeah. Oh my god. I hope I win this. Okay, sourdough crusted halibut. There you Thank are. You. You're very welcome. Wow. Yay, I apologize for the delay. With Melanie bouncing back, the chef's table is now enjoying their entrees. Mm. And over in the blue kitchen. Two Wellington, one halibut. How long? How long, Jason? Anton is keeping a close eye on Jason on the meat station. Wellington's coming up in about 30 seconds. You're walking up? I'm walking up. Behind, 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 behind. All right. I got the garnish coming right now, chef. Hey, Jason. Those weddings are cooked beautifully. Neil! Yes! Service, please. Chef table for Anton. Salmon? Me. All right. Enjoy. Now that both chef's tables are looked after. That's really good. Service. Let's go. The teams are totally focused on completing the rest of their dinner service. Service, please. Bon appetit. This just smells amazing. Last table, red team. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on, ladies. Almost finished. We're at the last ticket, man. I know. You got the garnish and the Wellington on the last ticket. Ready? Oh, shit. Garnish, I'm walking with my web. Sammy's going up. Let's go. Sam is walking right now. OK, good. Go, please. Beautiful, all around. Red team, well done. Good service. Yes, yes. Blue team, well done. For the first time since we opened Hell's Kitchen, both kitchens did complete service. However, we are still making mental errors. The winning team tonight is the blue team. Anton, well done. Thank you, Chef. Ladies, I need you to go upstairs, come to a consensus. Which two of you you want to put forward for elimination? Get out of here. Melanie needed to step up as a leader. I didn't really see her at all. I saw her messing up fish. I mean, she wasn't leading anything. <sighs> All right, ladies, let's go. My first one is Beth. I know everybody says that I don't communicate, but to me, it's more confusing when we have eight people yelling different things at different times. It's not like there's not room for your voice. The fact is, we're on our fifth fucking service. I understand it's, that. You need to speak up. We're at a time crunch here, and we have to get rid of people. I'm going to put up Mel and Beth. Get up. Melanie was all talk and no action. Her leadership was a complete and utter disaster. Mel, maybe we needed you to back us up just a little bit more. You didn't No, not off. tonight. We're talking about overall. I thought we were talking about tonight, period. No, we can't put up people just for tonight. We got to put overall. We got to trim our weak it's links. It's always something. All right, whatever. Oh, well, it's not tonight's service, just overall. They make up their own rules. All right, well, you was the captain, so I guess you get it popping. Obvious reasons. I don't even have to explain. Go figure. I win points with my team. I run my ass up on the challenges. I don't fuck up service. I stood next to Chef Ramsay. We're like, how long on the Cappellini? 
and you're like, oh, I didn't know there was one. The one Capellini thing? Get the fuck out of here! I'm talking about communication in general. I got a problem with communication? I mean, really? Because you couldn't even answer him back when the show's gonna be fucking ready. We gotta put somebody up tonight, and I'm trying to figure out who, because the leadership wasn't there, the teamwork on my station definitely wasn't there. Like, I don't know who to put up. Men, well done. Thank you, Thank you chef. chef. Rochelle, women's first nominee and why? Chef, our first nominee is Beth. Her lack of communication, her lack of drive, and she's been making critical mistakes. It's just dragging down the team. Second nominee and why? Chef, our second nomination is Sandra. She's lacking communication, lacking that passion. When you're on the line, there's a sense of urgency. She doesn't have a sense of urgency. Beth, Sandra, step forward, please. Beth, where were you tonight? The only time I saw you is when you brought the rubber lobster to the window. I know I'm not loud enough, and this service, I was louder. I can't go back and change what I did. All I can do is go forward and be better and learn from my mistakes. Are you done? Are you desperate to get home? No, Chef, I'm not. You want to talk about passion? This is it. I can't go home. I don't feel you on service. There's not even a voice. You're not even in the background. You've disappeared. Next service, I can promise you that you will hear my voice. And I promise you that it won't be a mistake. Sandra, clearly your team doesn't believe in you. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm consistent with my dishes. I earn points for my team. I give it all when we have a challenge. And I come through. So why do they want you out? Help me to understand. <laughs> I don't know. I back everyone up 100%. And I move my ass. I just think they don't want to see me win, Chef. Joy, why are you shaking your head? I'm shaking my head, honestly, because I worked with her today. And I'm like, Sandra, 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 Sandra. I was only play, saying that play, because play, play, her play, voice solid, solid. went up so high, I couldn't understand too, her. Chef. When we're speaking, she never lets you finish. Wow. It's the it's attitude. Her way. She never listens. She never takes accountability for anything. She just doesn't work as a team with us. It's always like, we're going to do it this way. It's never like, what's best for us? So she's not a team player? No. So you think you're better without Sandra? Rochelle, who should be going home this evening? For the team's sake, Sandra, Chef. Melanie, who should be leaving? Sandra. Bev. Sandra, Chef. Jessica. Beth. My decision is... Sandra. Back in line. Beth. Your time is done in Hell's Kitchen. Give me your jacket, please. I just cannot see you leading a brigade as a head chef. Yes, chef. Thank you. I wouldn't change coming here for a million dollars but I'm worried that I'm never going to be better than I am at this moment. And it scares the shit out of me. Right now, all I want to do is go home and cry to my mama. I am looking for a leader. And I'm going to start testing you to figure out who's for real and who is just a pretender. Good night. I think I did a great job. It's just a hard thing to swallow when you're a leader and your team fails. I can hold your hand till you get to the stove, but I can't help you the rest of the way. Now it's very clear who the leader is. Do I have the confidence that I can win this and walk away with the crown? Hell yeah. Damn straight I can. My team keeps scumbagging me. Fuck you. That's exactly how I feel right now. 
Beth thinks the reason she hasn't advanced in the culinary industry is the fact that she's a woman in the South. I think it's because she can't cook. Next time on Hell's Kitchen, the chefs face some of their toughest critics yet. Just a moment. Get some food over here. But when one chef... Ladies, come here. ...makes a major screw-up... That is disgusting. You're going to poison the kids. Who in the fuck is responsible for that? Patricia's hooked it. ...and blames it on her teammate. Dude, that's a bunch of fucking bullshit. The gloves come off. No! Melanie needs to eat a super-sized piece of humble pie, and she needs it slapped in her fucking face. And when another chef does the unthinkable... Who done that? ...will his teammate create a diversion... I did it for a reason. ...that could have serious consequences. Watch it, watch it. Hide, 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 hide. What the fuck is going on in here? All oh. next time... Get me jean We have an emergency. ...on a dangerously entertaining episode... Out of the way! ...of Hell's Kitchen.